I've always thought that surfboards are like the bodies of birds and that our fins are just like their wings. And a good fin can totally make the difference between flying or falling. After, man, 20 odd years of Futures and myself playing around with foils, templates, materials, and fin designs, we've pretty much ended up at this state now where I've got a quad, a keel, and an upright twin fin set that is just flying, working for me and the kind of surfing I love, which is just fun, man. I wanna be able to just go wherever my imagination wants to go on a wave and for me that's usually right on the edge of disaster i like going fast and the keel fin allows you to go down the line to pretty much ramp up an original style deep swallowtail fish surfboard and then stepping up from that into the twin fin you've got the pivot the upright up and down style surfing that you want out of most boards actually when you look around the lineup these days there are so many twin fins in the water it is easy speed it's a way to be able to ride waves rather than your board to just feel like wherever you want to go on the wave you can and you don't have to work for it the only other kind of fin i use is a quad fin setup and for me that just feels like a really powered up twin fin where you split the two side fins and turn them into four and for me, having two fins on the rail is like ultimate steering and driving control for squirrely little boards, fun boards, strange shapes, wide tails, and different lines. You know, there's no straight lines in the ocean. And so these fins echo that. There are no straight lines here. I don't have flat foils. Everything has a curve. The inside of the keel is cupped with the vector foil, the inside, of the quad is cupped with the vector and same with the twin. So the whole idea is to mimic the birds and mimic the fish, just like so many surfers and designers have done over the years.